there guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Full Time FM. Um, on what is a yeah, kind of Tuesday morning. So uh, yeah, after we beat uh, Chelsea yesterday in the Papa John's Trophy Final 4-0 uh, with Liam Kelly, Aaron Morley, Tom Eves and Jerome Sinclair getting the goals. Um, I went on holiday in the game till today's fixture. The assistant manager, uh, Jimmy Shan, he lost to his former club Walsall 4-5. So 5-4. Sinclair and Grant got a couple each, but uh, a last minute winner in the 93rd minute by Brendan Keenan won it for them. Then they beat Stevenage 5-1. Uh, Thomas Sinclair and Grant got goals. Newby got a brace. Newby got two goals within two minutes, actually. Then they beat Hartlepool, the Chimp Chokers, 3 2. Um, Grant got one, Sinclair got two. Exeter, Alfie Matthews played that and got a hat trick. Liam Kelly got a double. Uh, they beat them 5 3. And 0 0 against Bristol Rovers. Um, it was almost a complete different side to what played Exeter um, the week before. And then we've got Newport today at Rodney Parade. So we are top of the table, 45 games played, plus 92 goal difference, 107 points. And we've beasted the league basically. We've won it by 25 points, and I've not done anything daft or drastic um, Jerome Sinclair's come into the team, Callum Harriet, Wes Thomas, Tom Eaves Williams Velasquez and Jordan Spence um, Josh Clark Stephen O'Connor, Sam Abraham Mark Pugh, Michael Falevi, Armand Traore so I've signed a dozen players but um it's not a really massively overpowered team, do you know what I mean? It's just a decent 4-2 four, four and uh, done really well. So, Rodney Parade today. And I think we're going to go with this team. We've got Coleman in goal. Spence, Taylor, Velasquez and White across the back. Uh, Morley and Kelly in midfield. Sinclair on the right, Harriet on the left, Thomas Neves up top. Oh, you can see me yawn as I have my first cup of tea today. Sorry about that. I've got to be honest, I used to go out with a, uh, a German girl called Steph. And she has these balsam biscuits. I don't know if like a German or an Austrian biscuit, but it's these things, and they're chocolate orange, and they're really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, I now have them. Um, Timmy Abraham and Ray and Tulloch, decent players for Newport. So, hopefully, I'm recording. Otherwise, I'm talking to myself, and I'm going to have to replay this game. <laughs> oh, God. I've still not got used to this OBS software, because I can't actually see the camera. You guys can see can see it up in the top screen somewhere. It doesn't show as I'm recording. Anyway, Harriet puts one in. Wes Thomas is there. Sits the ad box. 15th goal of the season and uh, good cross by Harriet Newport defender misses it oh it's a midfielder number 8 who are picking him up Thomas jumps over the top of him and scores it's a good start last game of the season this Harriet puts one in oh Sinclair's header but it's cross by and goes over uh, we're going to be doing the Celtic save tomorrow, 11am. Um, 
I've honestly been really quite ill and I'm, I'm still kind of suffering with it so I'm just going to do one video a day and I thought because Rochdale's just two more two more games to play I thought I'll just get these out of the way and then we'll just focus on Celtic so don't panic Celtic's back there's Velasquez to Mully over the top for Harriet he's in pulls it back for Thomas unselfishly you know that's the one thing about FM22 every now and again you get a wide player who'll do that whereas in um, FM21 that wide player there would have just shot and probably at a side netting you know so yeah it's better that they're passing right now it's better that they're they're starting to do it and that combination Harriet and Thomas again that's Thomas's uh, 16th goal of the season I think Sinclair must be on at least 30 by now it's not bad from the right wing he's been a beast and he's played up top a couple of times as well but Jerome Sinclair man Tom Eves oh beautiful dinks it over the keeper for his 21st of the season 3-0 up in the first half again Callum Harriet with another assist. The man is on fire. I'm just going to praise the boys. Ed Upson for them. James Clark forward. Timmy Abram gets on it but shoots wide. Velasquez is supposed to be marking him. AD White to Liam Kelly. To Callum Harriet. Is he going to score? No, he shoots over. That would have topped off a really good first half for him. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice. Um, yeah, recording a video, I still need my voice. <laughs> um. Let's see. We'll praise the players. Oh, Sinclair. Oh, he's fouled in the box. By Haynes. And I think Wes Thomas will go for the hat trick. Sends the keeper the wrong way and gets his hat trick. That's 4 0. 17 uh, for the season for him. He's an absolute assassin. Well taken. I think we'll take Thomas off and give him a standing ovation. And bring Michael Felivi on. Oops and heads it over. I think Callum Harriet as well. We'll bring Connor Grant on for him. He's had a stunning game, and let's see. Spence ain't playing well, and he's got a yellow card. So let's bring Josh Clark on for him. Oh, Abrams too. He scored. Four one. Velasquez, like I say, is supposed to be dealing with him. Knocking it around nice at the back here now, Rochdale. Jordan Clark comes forward. Gives it for Levy. Oh, what a finish. Two substitutes combined to make it 5-1. Michael for Levy has just come on and smashed one. 25 yards out. Left foot. Oh, right foot it is. Right foot. Outside of the right foot as well. Brilliant. Ady White getting stuck in there. Go on, lad. Oh, 
And Kane finds Abraham. He's through again. Coleman with a big save. He's a good keeper, Joel Coleman. Lewis puts one in. Dolan heads it. Coleman on the line saves it. And uh, it'd be another corner. What a save on the line by Coleman. Grant heads it out as far as Kane. He finds Cooper. Crosses block. Liam Kelly can start a counter attack here. He's bringing it forward to the halfway line. Gives it Connor Grant. He's looked for Michael Felivi. He's took it on his chest. Pulled it back for Sinclair. He's looked for support from Clark. Oh, nothing's. I mean, finish the highlight. Come on. Abraham's gone off injured. We've had 23 shots to their 17. It's been a very attacking game. 44% uh, possession. 14 on target. That's the end of the season. 5 1 win we finish with. Top of the league as champions. Wes Thomas 9.1 for the hat trick. Callum Harriet 8.8 .8 for a hat trick of assist. Special mention to Felivi for that goal, by the way. Um, outstretched arms. Go on, boys. As good a win as you likely to see. And there we go. We finished the season with 110 points. Like I say, nothing drastic. Just. Um, decent transfers and uh, smashed them. Oldham sadly escaped relegation by a point. Hartlepool and Sutton go down. Um, that won't be the case this year. They'll stay up. Scunthorpe and Oldham, who are 21st and 22nd, will actually probably go down this year. Port Vale, they're pretty much up near top of the league. They are. Um, Forest Green are running away with it and yeah in real life um, yeah Cowley spotted at Rodney Parade looking at Max Taylor look all you want pal uh, Rochdale just signed uh, Portsmouth centre back Paul Downing in real life and um I have a contact in the game that tells me Rochdale will be signing Luke Charman. Two, actually, two contacts. Luke Charman will be joining us. Um, end of season review. I think we can skip through this, can't we? The new arrivals. Now, we won the league and we won the Pizza Cup. Average home attendance, 4,049. Jerome Sinclair, 28 league goals. A-plus from the board. Smashed it. Um, goal of the season from Mark Pugh. Um, biggest win, 8-0 against Carlisle. Jake Beasley has now joined Blackpool in real life and Aaron Moley has gone to Bolton in real life as well. Our sponsorship, broadcast revenue, corporate competition prize money and match day has all gone up massively. Uh, we have a two-star reputation now. 1,610 shirts sold. And our team of the season is Coleman in goal, Spence, Taylor, Velasquez and White across the back. Kelly and Molly in midfield, Harriet and Grant at wide, Sinclair and Eves up top. In all competitions, uh, Sinclair got 34 goals in 38 appearances and 3 subs um, and 13 assists. So he, he was involved in 47 goals in 41 games. Wow. Callum Harriet, 23 assists and 10 goals. That's ridiculous. Liam Kelly in midfield, 13 goals and 16 assists. Unbelievable. So, special mentions for them. Um, Joel Coleman, 50 appearances, 4 assists. The goalkeeper got 4 assists. Incredible. 
Um, so yeah, we absolutely smashed it, boys. History in the making. It was a superb season for the Dale who exceeded expectations throughout the campaign and claimed a deserved title by Rob Reed, uh, Sky Sports. So there you go, Papa John's Trophy and the League Cup. Quite frankly, superb. Praise Wes Thomas. There we are. Are we at 25 grand for finishing in first place? That is chicken feed in football, that. That is just disgusting. <laughs> um, so we're going to have a look at the finances as well. Um, we're not going to do the end of season meeting or anything like that. Um, just a quick look at the finances. We pretty much stayed in the black the entire time and just within our scouting budget because the next season's budgets we got 362 grand for the transfers uh 68 grand for the wages at the moment we're spending about 48 so i'm 20 grand under it at the moment um yeah overall balance 1.2 million in the bank um boys absolutely smashed it so yeah, um, here uh, the anomaly was October to November. I left the sugar daddy thing on the manager editor by accident, genuinely by accident. So when it gave me extra money, I actually went back into the manager editor and took it off. That's why you see that spike. Uh, it goes up and then comes down so I actually took the money that they put in away so we didn't cheat um, <clears throat> but when I do these uh, experiment videos um, you know what if a non-league team had whatever I, I, de I do the uh, sugar daddy thing so yeah so pretty much we stayed um, around the 2 million mark throughout the season uh, with the overall balance or so 1.2 million it is now and yeah that's us so thank you very much for joining me um, I hope this is recorded uh, let's have a, a little look see if it has actually hey we're recording there you go um, the sun's come out so it looks like it could be a good day um, genuinely thank you all so much for um, supporting us supporting the channel because quite frankly I know this last 10 days I've been poorly and I do apologize um, but I'm gonna make a real effort even though I'm still poorly to make make some videos um, this COVID thing knocked me on my ass um, I thought I'd be able to piss it because everyone was saying oh this one ain't so bad and then I got it and oh Jesus my head oh bloody hell um, so I will leave it there thank you very much for carrying on watching don't forget Celtic save 11am every day and I will see you all tomorrow for that Celtic save where we'll see if the new gens can absolutely smash it I'm hoping so so take care of yourself God bless love you all bye now